Thanks for joining us. We're going to be heading over to Aerospace to visit with Steve, the CEO, in just a minute. But before we head over there, I thought you'd love to meet Eric Chan. He's the president of El Segundo's Economic Development Corporation, in charge of bringing together all of these amazing corporations that make El Segundo their home for business, and doing so in a meaningful way to embrace community. Let's go visit with Eric now. Come on. Well, we're joined with Eric. Eric, thank you so much for sharing with all of our viewers today. Eric's the president of El Segundo's Economic Development Corporation. May I ask, Eric, what's going on here in El Segundo? There are 17,000 residents here uh, in this small city, but 70,000 employees call El Segundo home from a place of uh, occupation. And so we've been able to get the CEOs from the leading enterprises here in El Segundo, including some of the names that we just talked about, to all kind of join together and serve as a collective voice of business leadership and help guide the city's efforts as we think about just overall, how do we make this city the world-class city that we all believe it can be? And that's the focus of this El Segundo Economic Development Corporation. Gosh, Eric, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you for joining all of us here on the American Dream. And well, let's go head over, Bill. Let's go say hi to Steve over at Aerospace. Come on, everybody. Well, Steve, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting all of us here to see Aerospace Corporation. And, uh, and beautiful El Segundo. In fact, gosh, Steve, I'm looking here at your laboratories. Steve, what is that? <laughs> We have this incredible lab here, and we do a lot of very advanced technologies. In fact, uh, part of our mission here at Aerospace is to work on the hardest problems for the government. So some of the things that we're doing here, for example, is we build uh, these very small satellites. We're building satellites the size of, you know, no bigger than a microwave. So we've been here since almost the very beginning of the space program, and we, we, are, we just celebrated last year our 60th anniversary. El Segundo is, you know, an incredible mechanism for you know the space industry you know we got Boeing we got Raytheon just down the street we got Northrop Grumman just over there we have a number of uh, commercial startups you know in the area here so over 60 years as you can imagine incredible amount of aerospace engineering talent why do we stay here because the talent is sort of amazing of what we can get here and we're surrounded by amazing universities and El Segundo is a beautiful place and our employees love it. Uh, curiosity, I don't know if a lot of people are working from home now because of COVID, but you're such a unique industry. You're not Mattel with creativity in a different way, but you're, you're more classified. Yeah, in fact, you commented that we're a very predictable company, but we live in an incredibly unpredictable time. And COVID is frankly, I mean, that's a great example of that. You know, some of our work doesn't lend itself to that. We do classified work. We build some things that you have to have hands on and we bring some people to campus. But we also found that we could be pretty flexible with our workforce for those that didn't have to come in for that type of work and in fact could work from home. We have a very robust internship program where we bring you know, hundreds of students you know, on the campus here. We also have programs for underrepresented schools. So we work with the local schools here in Los Angeles and bring in students that otherwise wouldn't have a chance, give them summer internship programs and scholarships. We believe that the diversity, equity, inclusion efforts is critical to the success of our company and for our future workforce. Boy, it's been wonderful being part of your campus today. Thank you. Yeah, well, thanks for inviting Aerospace. We love what we do. It's a real honor for what we do for America's space program, and we love the community that we live in. So thank you, El Segundo.